Good evening. Thank you all for coming. I'm Sarah Raymond, the Assistant Dean for Photography here on this <coughs> campus. I want to welcome you all to the opening reception for the Living Legends of Alexandria exhibit by photographer Nina Tassara. One of the legends is our very own Eula Miller. She was truly a legend here on this campus, at the college, and as well in the community. In light of her passing just last week, we're dedicating this evening to her memory. So we're really pleased that you can join us for this event. And we especially are honored that members of Eula's family are joining us. I'm going to introduce now Nina Tassara, the photographer. And I believe this is the first time that multiple years of your amazing extended project have been on exhibit together. So it's my great pleasure to introduce to you Nina, who will tell you more about what she's been doing all these years. Living Legends of Alexandria, it's starting its fourth year. The idea is um, to identify and honor and chronicle the people who are current history makers in the city. This exhibit, this is the first time that the photographs have been shown together and that is remarkable. It is, it's, it's wonderful to see one year and it is amazing to see them together. Uh, appreciation. First and foremost to the legends. This wouldn't happen if there weren't legends to stories to tell and pictures to take. Every step of the way, the Living Legend Project has been blessed by insightful people who have stretched beyond what they ordinarily do to help me do the project. I have been working with Sarah Raymond, would you believe, since June 2009. We've been putting this together, and Sarah has been amazingly wonderful to work with. I thank you, Sarah. No one foresaw that this would also be the occasion to further honor one of our legends, Eula Miller. I am honored, most honored, that Eula's family is here, several people of her family. As, as Sarah said, her husband Mel, her daughter Erica, right there. Her sister, Jerry Pay, who looks so much like her, it's, you're really not twins, right? <laughs> and Fern Millett, standing right there. Thank you very much for being here. This is what Living Legends is about. It's to get the stories while people are still alive so that we can photograph and tell the stories. To Dean, Jimmy, for having the notion that this would be an appropriate, wonderful way to honor Eula, thank you very much. for Mary Hanrahan for the work that you've done in coordinating the two parts. Thank you. To Paige Carr, who did the design of the posters that have helped you find your way here. Thank you. To videographer Abby Sternberg. Abby's been working with us for several years. She has videotaped the legends and put together the highlight summary that you see here She's also done the full-length videos of all of the people, and one of the Millers is available. We'll be playing it after the, the, the formal part of the program. Living Legends has a wonderful board of directors. We have one representative, Steve Wharton. Steve was, when the project started, he was president-elect of Rotary Club of Alexandria and then president and now past president Rotary has been a substantial financial supporter of this project. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. Jim Singerling is CEO right there of Club Managers Association of America. Jim has been not only a supporter of Alexandria, but of Living Legends, and has, um, he will be, has sponsored the 2000 11 legends which will be hanging in the Market Square lobby of City Hall for a year um, beginning in March. I am very grateful, Jim. Thank you. If I take credit for anything, it's planning ahead to have a really talented son, <laughs> Stephen Halperson. I take. <laughs> 
I take the picture. Stephen has done everything else. Stephen has had the prints made. He's cut the mats. He's done the framing, and he's hung the exhibit. This is a huge amount of work. And the labels. And the labels. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. Uh, remember to nominate a legend for 212. There are forms there. And that's all I have to say. My thank yous. And I want to introduce our dean, Dr. Jimmy McClellan. And then you'll introduce lots of people who want to speak about EULA. So. On behalf of the college, we're very pleased to be the host for this exhibit. And uh, it's uh, a real pleasure to have all of these faces looking at us because these people have done great things for this city in the past. I was reading the last census in 2000, and it said uh, the population of the city of Alexandria is the 11th most dense in the country. I was troubled by that until I realized it meant we just live close together. <laughs> <laughs> but this is not a dense city. We produce many people of, of uh, high caliber. We have probably more people with graduate degrees than any other city in the country. And this woman, uh, Eula, uh, helped to achieve that. Uh, she touched a lot of people at the college. I worked with her for 36 years and uh, was very fond of her. But she also touched the teachers in the city, and through the teachers she touched the students. Generations of students are really her intellectual grandchildren, uh, not only in the city but in this entire region. She basically created uh, early childhood education here. And for that, we owe her a great debt, and we miss her much. Mary Hanrahan had the pleasure of working with her directly for years, and Mary had a few things to say. Mary. I did. I worked with Eula for 23 years. Uh, she was my friend for 25. She was a wonderful person. You can read her biography. I won't repeat it. <clears throat> but um, I think the quality that I most admired about her and that I would imitate, uh, try to imitate, is that she believed in all people, the value of all people. And I think that's a really... Um, a worthy thing to, to think about and to try and emulate. So I'm delighted you are all here. Eula would have loved it. Great party was one of her favorite things in the world. And uh, thank you for coming. We're, we're lucky to have such a talented faculty because they produce talented students. And students come to us with great skills and work with these people that are <coughs> enhanced. So uh, I look forward to a great future for photography in this area because of our students and our teachers. So now you'll enjoy the exhibit and be sure to say hello to Melvin here and his family tonight. And um, we're grateful that they joined us and we're grateful that, that Melvin was able to loan Eula to us for so many years that we could enjoy her as well. Thank you for coming. And as it relates to Alexandra, it really was to upgrade the skills for people who work with young children. And that is still a very much needed thing in the city of Alexander. Because, you know, I'm too old, I never retired, and I'm still working.